episode number 31. Wolfman Lewis back with you. Thank you so much for joining me for the, another episode of the NFL head coach, the Raiders. As you can just see, we just finished up the game against the Rams and won it 20 to 6. Absolutely a great game. Much needed win. It's a much needed win for this franchise. We're going to go ahead and open up the emails here, take a look at the owner. Your skills are fantastic, coach. That was a great win. Scouting director says, great work, or great work, coach. You did the right things out there on the field or on and off the field. Management thinks you're uh, progressing extremely well. So we're going to go ahead and look at NFL.com. Show you exactly uh, what the standings are for the NF uh, for the AFC West. As you can see, we're seven and seven, so we're on the verge here of possibly getting a playoff spot. Should the Chargers or the Broncos have a little bit of uh, Chargers or the Broncos would have a little bit of uh, uh, losing uh, a couple of games there could actually help us. Actually, them losing their next two games and us winning our next two could actually put us up into the uh, top of the division. But make no mistake about it, this, uh, this franchise is really... Uh, Kind of up and down here over the last uh, over this season. Again, as you can see, the Bills and the Patriots are eight and six too. So it's the AFC is pretty much up for grabs here. The Colts at uh, eight and uh, five, and Steelers pretty much got their playoffs clinched there. That's it's a no brainer there. But like I said, you know it's it's pretty nip and tough here. It's uh, you know it's going to be uh, interesting to see how they how the Raiders do. And like I said, as we take a look at the schedule. Our next uh, game, our next game, our next game, you know, we got two more games left and they're, and they're must win. We're going against the Chiefs at home and then we're on the uh, road uh, in East Rutherford against the, uh, uh, against the New York Jets. So definitely you've got to have a win for the Chiefs there. We got to win that one. We definitely got to win the last two games. So we'll have to, have to see exactly what this ball club uh, can do here. Here we go with office hours. What we'll do here is we'll uh, add a couple plays here. Go for the goal line big. At back pitch. Which already exists. That already exists, okay. Full back dive. We'll put the full back dive in there. And we'll jump over here to second and medium. And we'll add the bar booyah slant there. It's one of my created plays. We go to the management meeting, and I believe that the owner uh, will just have to basically have to go ahead and go forth there because I don't think he really has anything to say. Usually never does till at the beginning of the end of the season, so. Yep, we finished all the tasks and stuff like that. So we go back to office hours, which we are going to skip office hours. Every now and again, you got to skip an office hours. You know, this game has, like I said in uh, previous episodes, this game has had a repetitive, uh, re repeating uh, all kinds of things here. So let's go to the weekly staff meeting once again, as we're going to discuss uh, week number uh, 15 and the win over the Rams. Let's see uh, what kind of negativity they have here for us today. Let's go here and start We off. need to talk. Start off here with Cody Smith. Got a couple of guys on defense who were banged up. Okay. Exactly. Hey. We had a big yard. We uh, gave up big yardage last week. Let's try uh, something new with those guys. You know, we did give up big yardage, but we did come out of victor 20-6. Uh, to six. So, you know, Don Martin, Dale... Don't even, or did you even work with your squad this week? Our defense looked uh, like a, it was an no, abomination. No, not this time. 
Just getting a little upset there. He's got some boss. Peter Bulware needs to get the start with Brian Simmons. Uh, sure, good idea. That's great. I think I have something. Our defensive line made sure that uh, their running attack was a much of attack last week. That's right. We sure did. Simply put, they couldn't get through that nasty D yeah. line you assembled. Chuck Here's Magano. the situation. What's going on, Chuck? Talk about how the great showing uh, by the defense under 100 yards passing allowed. Amazing. Yes. That secondary was swarming to the ball. The focus was uh, you and Steve. Uh-huh. Did a real good job of doing some passing, and uh, you know their passing attack, our passing attack was really uh, on uh, on on cue. So we did a real good job of uh, stopping them. That's why, like, hey, case in point, just two field goals of uh, you know only six points. Come on, Chuck Pagano. Here's what I've got. Our secondary got ripped in big yardage last week. Let's work on a solution. Yeah, our secondary had a little bit of problems. So uh, you're right. We look terrible. Now quit talking about it. And there fix ain't it. no way. He's Let's got do this. Thing to say. He thinks that Denard Walker should get to start over Earl Little. Eh, okay. Yeah. Sure. I agree with Let's that. Let's do it. Hey, Chief. We should make the. Uh, you know, every time you turn around, he's wanting to make uh, Sebastian Janikowski and take him out. That's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste time. Herb Eatman does not like me. What the heck were you telling my linemen to make their performance so badly? This is the most descriptive performance I've ever Come seen. Come on, get real. I'm busy. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah like I said, he can't stand me. Victor Roddy is probably performing, performing well. Let's get started with Barry Sims. Sure. I like it. I like it. Sure, let's give that a good idea. And Listen, here, boss. Art Shell, the injury count is low this week, so that's one less thing to think about. Fine. Okay, there you have it. Twenty-two to ten, Colts over the Bengals. But as I said, it was a it was a great effort out there. Jeff Blake. Uh, was uh, played for three quarters, and then I uh, put uh, Reggie McNeil in, and McNeil did okay. He wasn't too bad. Uh, he also was, I mean, he also uh, wasn't any good, neither as far as running the football, but he did his own. He did what he had to do, and like I said, Reggie McNeil is the future of this franchise. So, you know, we needed to get him somebody in there to help him out, and Jeff Blake was that man, as I mentioned in the previous episodes. But this has been the Wolfman Lewis. This has been episode number 31 of the NFL head coach, the Raiders. We'll see you for uh, episode number 32, where we'll, we'll be uh, discussing week 16 and uh, how things actually went. So until then, thanks for watching. I am out.